going to play another song because the stream actually went off the air. This is such fucking bullshit. Yesterday I woke up. I thought I was going to have a good day. It turned into a shit day. I thought I was going to wake up into a good mood again today. The only good news is that I'm switching my deal at my fucking day job. But this goddamn landscaper's outside for the past fucking two hours. Otherwise, the show would have been done. The only reason I'm doing it is to get it to the affiliates. And now the fucking internet keeps going down. It's just one of those things that I don't have the patience for. All the stations I'm on are doing very well in the numbers. Don't know how my show is doing. Don't really care. I can only do what I can do to promote it and get it out there and promote your station. I have no control over listenership, basically. People are always asking me, what's my numbers? All I can tell you is that my numbers on the sites that I pull data from have been phenomenal. My single show alone has had 3,000 listens in the past three and a half weeks. So we're averaging 1,000 listeners a week just on the avenues that I'm out there on, whether it's the Seven Factor interview, Dave Alvin, a white trash, whoever it is, those are the numbers. I'm a single show. I used to have approximately 10,000 listeners and downloads a week. We're getting back there, and I'm proud to actually say the numbers are increasing by a lot. And I appreciate it, and I appreciate every one of you who listen and listen to my rants and spread the word about the show. Yes, some days I'm an asshole. Some days I'm controversial. Some days I'm nice. Today happens to be a bad fucking day. That's all I can say. It's just a bad day all around for the show. I don't go out of my way. I'm trying not to be as controversial. I'm trying to present the show that people want to come on. And sometimes when you have that controversial aspect, it blocks everything. I can still be controversial and shocking without being an asshole. But today, I'm an asshole. So here's Moonlight Serenade by a great band and a friend of mine that passed away recently, D.D. Sweet, the singer. It's a, it's a shame because this is a great band. I don't know exactly what happened. I dedicated a show to him a while back, and we're going to rewind on that eventually. I have hundreds of shows. Um, go check out Mr. Nasty. Um, I don't know if they'll ever do new music again just for the fact that the singer passed away. But the other guys, they're all working on something. Mike, the drummer, has always got something going on. Raven's the bass player. He's got a new band he's going out with. And Scott's with the Heartless Devils. But, you know, things happen. You know, the guy's had a rough life. So what can you do? Uh, was a good friend of mine. I know him since I'm like 16 years old. We had the same tattoo artist. And I've been a big fan ever since. So here it is. It's Moonlight Serenade by Mr. Nasty. I'm Jay Stone, and you're listening to my show at rock motherfucking metal talk.com, bitches. <laughs>
The Jack and Rod Show. No, just kidding. This is the J Stone Show at RockMetalTalk.com. And I can't believe we managed to stay on the internet during the live feed for over six minutes. That's fucking incredible. It's just an incredible thing. There's one more thing I want to go off on after I tell you about the last song. That was The Vow by my good friend Steve Haley, who has uh, been in Trash Light Vision. He's been in a bunch of bands, so... Um, great song, great guy. He's working on new material. And if you want to, you know, check him out, check him out on Facebook. It's Steve Haley. I don't know if he's got a page for the band anymore or not, or it's just, you know, cause it's a solo act, but that was the vow by Steve Haley. So look, I don't know, man. I don't know what blabbermouth steel is. I don't know what that bullshit is with me. Um, they used to do a lot of press on me back in the day. And I said a couple of things about, um, you know, when you could post on their stuff, which I probably shouldn't have been posting because they put news on me, but these guys don't even have the balls to respond back as to why they fucking blacklist me from running shit about my guest on the show hey i don't give a fuck dude it's your loss it's less news you got but i ain't gonna fucking play any music from roadrunner if that's how you're gonna be you're gonna be a bunch of little fucking pussies it's fine with me i don't know why i don't know if i said something about this shitty little site they can't they, they gotta asterisk out the word shitty i'm reading an article now about how cavalera slams shitty sepulchre 
which, which which I don't disagree with, but. They're a bunch of sissy. They, 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 you gotta tread lightly. You gotta be politically correct. Who cares? There's so many other news organizations out there. You could go to fucking Loudwire. That there, there, there's many other places to get your rock news. I'm just, I don't understand the ballsless uh, and no response after years of trying to communicate with them as to why. But you know what? I don't care. I probably said something that pissed them off about one of their artists. So now I'm not going to get pressed by them. But you know what? This is the last time I'm ever going to mention their shitty fucking website. They can kiss my ass. They can fucking tickle my taint. I don't give a fuck. It's just one of those things. It's stupid. Things are said. We don't all agree on everything. I don't agree on your shitty articles that you put out all the time that don't make sense and rehash an article from 10 years ago. When they fucking wrote an article about me and Crossbreed, they they said they brought up something from fucking 10 years before that. What What is the relevance? Tell how he got signed and brought a demo tape. Who cares? They can't even put the link up correctly. To, to follow the show. So you know what I did? Anything that was linked from Blabbermouth to my website, I fucked.